Halloween Productions, Inc. guarantees all-out terror around every turn of The Darkness, its premier haunted house in St. Louis, Missouri. Fright is splattered all over the two-story, 25,000-square-foot haunted house. And some never come out. <laughs> Just kidding. But the patrons are shaken as a blood-curdling spectacle of horror unfolds all around them. The high-tech hijinks inside these walls are on par with cinema-caliber special effects. Hollywood has moved from all these special effect artists and all these sculptors and creative people and pushed them out of the business. They got replaced by CGI. And so now these Hollywood special effect artists that worked on the biggest movies in the business, they're making props and products for the haunted house industry. And they have really pushed the creativity of the attractions. One of the darkness's Hollywood quality sets, the Swamp House, rocks guests with 360 degrees of motion. Airbags positioned in each corner of the room inflate at different cycles which makes visitors feel like they're floating on a bayou. Each airbag can actually support 6,500 pounds a piece, so the entire house can support a weight of about 25,000 pounds. The airbags themselves have rubber bumpers in them to stop them from going down too far, but they'll essentially go up until it explodes. These chains can each support 15,000 pounds a piece, so there should never be a situation where the airbag can break them. To mount the airbag to the chains, we used a two and a half inch thick steel base plate. In this mad manner, the guests set off most of the special effects. All of our animations at the darkness are uh, on motion sensors, which means anytime a customer walks past, like this one right here underneath the moss, uh, it triggers the animation to come up and scare them. It ensures that everything goes off right when we want it to. The scare factor inside the darkness is compounded by its disturbing set designs. Especially those made to look like they're coated in blood and vomit. John Ives has mastered what he likes to call gorification and turns stomachs with his deathly dinner party. Ives makes everyday household items into ultra-realistic looking putrid food. Basically what I'm making is a gory table, like an old table that maybe some zombies or someone like that was eating on it and they just went crazy and then a lot of the food was rotten maybe someone threw up on the table drywall mud and paint form the base for john's larger piles of partially digested rotting chow he adds rice oatmeal cereal and other dry goods for that extra touch of nauseating realism you want to make different looking textures and different looking things. You can use just about anything. As long as you mix it with the shellac and everything, it'll be okay because it'll preserve it. The shellac also keeps the scene looking fresh. Mmm, mmm. This gut-busting dinner from hell is topped off with a very special recipe for fake blood. Our permablood is unique in that it uh, it dries, but it never looks dry. It always stays glossy, it's flexible, so it can actually be used on fabric or props, and it's essentially a permanent paint. Once it's on, it never comes off. The blood has three liquid components, an acrylic base, a medical grade adhesive, and a binding agent. The last thing that we add is, you know, sort of the heart of it, is the pigment. It's a careful combination of magenta yellow and blue dry pigment. It gives it a real nice, real rich, sort of uh, fresh blood look. For Larry Kirchner and his team, their work on the darkness embodies everything they love about giving people the fright of their lives. By having your own haunted attraction, it's like living out the holiday. You're actually able to create your own environment, your, your own movie, you know, your own interactive play. And all the guests who pay you for it are your specimens, you know. And you're able to test your latest creations on them and see if that scares them or what effect people have uh, by your crazy imagination. 
The biggest thing about having a good haunted house is just that passion, that passion, that love of Halloween. 